Right, fire investigators are hoping to figure out what started the fire in this home uh, that killed a woman in her 50s. There was no heat in the house. We know that at the time, and that is likely a factor. But as Nick Monticelli reports, a space heater is not to blame. Frankly, the fire department says this is frustrating because they do not know yet exactly what caused this fire, but they do know that no heat was on during the time that this happened. And we do want to talk about this wheelchair you see off to the other side of the home. The woman did use one, but didn't necessarily have to. Probably she was a good person. Um, she stayed by herself. Her mom went to a nursing home. Like I said, you know, everybody like on the block pretty much helped her out. Next door neighbor Lenny Watkins is bothered to say the least about her friend that died early this morning. The fire started just before 6 a.m. It was not a large fire, but enough to take someone's life. But she wasn't burned though, so hopefully she smoked in the lace. She never woke up and she fell to the floor. Fire crews were called originally to a home across the street when another neighbor smelled smoke. So I called 911. And then when they came, I saw her house coming, smoke coming out the chimney, and I, it was filling up, and I told them to go over there. And over there, crews found a home with no heat. The utilities were not connected, and the woman living here was using something but not a space heater. To keep warm. I know it's a situation now you got people can't afford the gas bills and all that, but we get this every year. Every year we have something like this every year. Try not to have it around curtains and don't go to sleep while you have them on. Back out here again talking about this wheelchair. Neighbors say that she didn't have to necessarily use it. She could get up and walk around. So they're very concerned and worried why she wasn't able to get out of the home. There are some concerns, though, that she had a lot of things inside of that house, and that may have been one of the problems. On Detroit's West Side, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. Now the victim is said to have no family in the area except for her mother, who is currently in a nursing home.